Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a real fun one. First of all, disclaimer, if you hear noises in the background, they are cutting some limbs off some humongous trees that we have outside. And also there's some neighbors mowing their lawns, so you may hear that in the background. And I'm sorry about that, but you know, this is life. So uh, today's video is going to be a collab with, with Nat from Little Miss Nat, and also with Beth for Little Betsy 79. And Nat and I have been YouTube friends for a while. We've been supporting each other's channel for a while, as you guys well know, and a lot of you subscribe to both of our channels. And I'm kind of new to Beth's channel. I've been watching her for about two weeks. She's a lot of fun. She's a friend of um, Nat's, and I'll tell you a little more about them as I start, you know, my look. But we decided to do a collab using products that are food related, either by the brand or the name of the shades or just something that has to do with food. So if you'd like to see how I created this look and what food related products I use, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so as I explained, this is going to be a food related collab with two friends. And one of them I have been friends with for a while and her name is little miss nat and nat is her name and the other one her name is beth and her channel name is little betsy 79 and i will list below uh, both of their links so you guys can check out their video so this video is going to be all kind of food related products whether it is the brand or whether it's the product that we're actually using that has some kind of food related name so i'm going to start with lip balm because my lips have been killing me and this is from milk makeup and this is the kush lip balm and it's just plain it's, it looks green but it doesn't have any kind of tint and i actually love this and um it's very nourishing and it kind of smells a little like citrusy and it has like a little sweetness to it but barely i mean you can barely taste anything it's pleasant it doesn't feel heavy or sticky and i really do enjoy it okay so for my primer i'm going to use two of them um this one is more hydrating and this is from Too faced and this is a peach perfect primer and um it does smell like peaches and i really do enjoy it but i also want to use something that is going to be um blur my pores a little bit so i'm going to use this pretty much on the uh, um outer part of my face and then then use the rest the uh, pore blurring primer where my pores are bad so and this is going to be the milk cosmetics and this is the um the glowy one and i'm just going to put some here on my cheeks my chin and in the middle of my forehead and I'm just going to press that in and I already did my brows because I don't have anything food related for my brows and also for my eye primer I already primed my eyes also because I also don't have anything food related and I could have used concealer, but I want to make sure the palette that I have is the first time that I use it and it's a palette that I've really been looking forward to using. So I really wanted to use something that I knew would work really well. And what I used is the new ABH eye primer. I really love this. This really, it will take away any kind of veining or uh, discoloration you have on your eyelids. You only need a little bit and the way that I find that it works the best is if you do one eye at a time and I put a little bit on my lid and then I use a brush to kind of spread it out. I find that does a better job and then I kind of just pat over it and but I really really do like this. Um, this was a free sample a point perk that I got through Sephora and I actually ordered they had two sizes the regular or the um, deluxe size and I went ahead and I ordered the small one because I like it. But I have so many eye primers that I didn't want to order the large regular size because I thought that I really need to get through some of my primers. But I think for a special look, 
that's an, that is an amazing primer. So I'm going to be using my little um, makeup uh, mirror, but I don't think we need this yet. So for foundation, I am going to use the Peach Perfect um, Too Faced Foundation. This is oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil controller, oil, oil controlling, and photo friendly. So let me tell you a little bit about the channels. A lot of you already know um, who Nat is because you are subscribed to her channel. And you guys know that she's a lot of fun. She creates a lot of beautiful, colorful looks, a lot of glam looks. Um, the girl's not afraid of trying anything out. Even if she's not happy with the look, she'll still post it. And which is the way that it should be, right? I have a hard time getting this product to come. And that's why I don't use this foundation very often because I have to fight with it to come out. The little pump, since it's a squeezy tube, to me, it doesn't work the, the best. And it's kind of messy. So um, she likes to do a lot of project panning. Um, she uses a lot of drugstore and ColourPop, and she also uses um, high end. And she does a lot of collabs on her channel, uh, palette bingos, um, haul unhauling, unhauling, no hauls. <laughs> Sounds like I'm unloading a truck or something, a moving truck. Um, a lot of stuff. She really has a very diversified um, channel. She does a lot, a lot of different things. Um, Beth, um, like I said, I'm kind of new to her channel, but she does a lot of um, get ready with me videos. She does videos with her daughter. See if this works. I'm going to end up with some of it on my shirt and I'm going to be upset. Messy that's not the best i don't know if anybody else has trouble with it but i really don't like that packaging anyway she does um a lot of collabs get ready with me palette bingos uh, she does a lot of panning um and uh her channel i really have been enjoying it i've uh, probably only been watching it honestly for the last like two weeks because i wanted to get to know her a little better before i did this um this video and um i have been enjoying it so I will list her channel below. I can't wait to see what the other ladies use for their um, for their makeup products. So this foundation is more like a medium. I already put some on my on my problem areas, and as you can see, this is like a, like the third try. Okay, so for my concealer, I am using the Hello Fab avocado concealer and this is very moisturizing and i do enjoy it however it is very i find it not to be very high coverage so i haven't used it in a while maybe i'm wrong but we'll see yeah so you can still see my dark circles but for a day that you want to use some light makeup and you don't want to go heavy or someone that doesn't have really dark circles on the day set i want more coverage i normally would wear a corrector underneath but i don't have a corrector with a food name on it so i didn't i went ahead and just used a concealer and like i said it is very nice but definitely it's not um full coverage i would say that it's more like a medium coverage but it is a very hydrating concealer, so I really do enjoy it with a corrector underneath. Okay, so now for my powder. And my, I have to fix that before I put shadow on it because it's creasing because I haven't set it yet. For my powder, I'm going to use a Too Faced um, Peach Perfect powder, which is the only food related powder that I had. This is a very nice powder. And there's already a little bit on the cap, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to take a little bit, very lightly, to set my under eye. I 
and I kind of brighten it up a little bit so it does help with kind of help with the um you know that it was still looking kind of dark the, this powder I've had it for a while well since the collection first came out and it still smells like peaches and if it gets in your mouth it's kind of sweet it's kind of weird so I'm going to use a face powder to just kind of powder the rest of my face uh, and set everything now I don't have anything food related to set my eyes so I am going to set it with a Wet and Wild Brulee because the palette that I'm using the only creamy shadow that it has is a little satin um, so I really don't want like shine all over my lid so I am going to use the Wet and Wild and this is just a Brulee which is like a dollar Alrighty. All right, so the the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use is the Urban Decay Honey palette. Uh, is this not beautiful packaging? This is like I can stare at this all day. It is raised. I don't know the back. I guess it's like supposed to be like honey, just dripping or smeared or something. It's beautiful. When I first saw this palette, I wasn't too sure about it. I saw it on pictures and I thought, I oh, don't know, you know, so many colors look so close, similar, you know. But then when I saw it in person and when I saw some other creators use them, I said, that's, that's beautiful. And I do love bronzes and golds. So the first one that I'm going to use on my crease is going to be this one here, which is called Swarm. And when um, Nat told me about doing this uh, collab, immediately I thought, oh, yes, that is the palette that I want to use. It's perfect. I mean, I have a lot of the ColourPop palettes, you know, the orange. And let's see, which other one do I have? I have the orange one, and I think I have a couple of their food-related palettes. The peach, maybe? Strawberry. I have the strawberry but this one I wanted to use this one so pretty and I'm gonna move you guys a little bit up no okay there we go so you can see a little better what I'm doing I'm using um, this is uh, actually a Farrah brush, which I'm sure that I received in a beauty box. Okay, so this is like a, I guess, honey caramel color. Um, I don't see any fallout yet. And really, there's a little bit of kickback on the palette, but not bad. Okay, so I want to deepen it a little bit. I want to use this one, which is called Drip. I think it's funny when Nat does a well not funny actually she's very talented and has a good memory that what that's what happens when you're young um, when she does eye looks she creates a complete eye look on one eye on you know on camera and then she completes the other eye off camera I wouldn't remember what I all the shadows that I put on my eyes I mean if I only use you know two or three shadows but she uses a lot of different shades I wouldn't be able to keep up with it I'm sure by the end of it my both of my eyes will look different all right so now I am going to take this color right here which is called flyby and that one is the one that is like a um, vanilla color but it does have a little bit of um, like a satin because I swatched it and um, which actually looks whiter now on my brow than it does on the pan on the pan it looks like it's got more yellow more vanilla in it 
but I want to go ahead and just use that under my brow bone and I'm going to use this one right here sweet the second one to kind of I'm using still the same brush to kind of like um, mix both of the brownish shades together All right, for the center of my lid, I'm gonna do that first and then I'll darken it up. Let me swatch a couple of them so I can decide which one I want. Oh my gosh, look at that. Gorgeous. I think this one's gonna be like a little too yellowy. Yeah. And this one I think is gonna be a little too dark. Yeah, but that's beautiful. Uh -uh -uh. I'm gonna put this one on my lid and I may put this one on the outer part, but I'm gonna do the lid first. And I'm gonna use my palette. I'm going to use my finger. Oh my gosh. This is like liquid gold. This is called golden. This is gorgeous. yes okay i'm going to take a little bit of this one right here the darker one that is like a bronze and it's called queen i'm going to use a different finger and put it on over this part over here which is going over the gold but i just want to kind of like darken it up a little bit over here i'm going to bring up the gold a little bit more into the top of my lid. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. All right, so I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of just blend everything together and then we're going to darken the outer V. That gold is really pretty, I must say. Okay, I'm going to take like a pencil brush and I'm going to use this dark brown, which is called Sting. Oh, this is too hard. There you go. I was gonna say what happened to this brush, my goodness. It felt like a stick. I'm getting a little bit of a fallout on this one, but it could be the brush. All right, I'm also gonna take the same pencil brush and go with that dark brown under my lash line and I'm going to go as close to the lash line as possible. And connect it to the top. I'm going to use the same pencil brush and use the color HBIC. Don't know what that means. And just put a little bit right here. I'm trying to make it so that the colors kind of flow together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the finger with that color right there. And See how pretty that is that is really pretty all right so i'm going to do the same on the other side so i'm going to take a little bit of that that color that i just used and kind of 
use it like right underneath the brown on my lower lash line just to kind of diffuse it a little bit just a little bit I really don't want a lot of um, shimmer down there but just a tiny bit it's a beautiful color I think that's really pretty. I'm gonna take the creme brulee and go a little bit over my brow bone. I really don't like it that shiny. I know some people do, but I prefer for my brow bone not to be quite that shiny. So I'm going to try to mute it down a little bit with a creme brulee, which kind of is food too, right? Creme brulee. I just thought of that. I said I didn't have anything. See, that was that was chosen by accident because I use that all the time. Okay, now for my inner corner, I'm gonna wait until I use the um, the face palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll finish the mascara and everything else. So I have two choices for face. I have the Naked Urban Decay Cherry face palette, and this one. It brings two highlighters and it brings a um, blush. And then I have the Too Faced Sugar Peach Palette, which this one brings a bronzer, um, highlighter, and blushes. Everything is kind of um, glowy. So I'm going to use a little bit of the bronzer but not a lot because it is glowy it's beautiful but it's glowy and you can use this palette also on your eyes and it's very 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 pretty and it smells amazing it smells really really good and i just stuck my nose in it okay so if you can see see there's a little bit of glow so i'm not going to put a lot and um i don't always even wear a bronzer tell you the truth but I'm trying to use every product that I can that has something to do with food. And this is the only bronzer that I can think of. You know, it's funny because when um, Nat first mentioned the collab, I thought, oh, I don't have that many things food related at first. And then I started thinking, yeah, you have your peach stuff and you just order your honey palette and then you have the naked cherry and I love this eyeshadow. I really do. Okay, so um, for my blush, I'm going to use someone from the Naked Cherry. And I think that would be a pretty blush. And let's see. That's very really pretty. This is a nice little palette. I got it when it was on sale. Because um, I really didn't want to pay the regular price when it first came out. I liked it, but I, I didn't. There's some things that I like, but I don't like them enough to pay full price. So the way I look at it, if, if it's meant for me to have it, it'll go on sale and I'll get it. Then if not, I really didn't need it. I, I do have other products I can use, but um, I got the Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palette, and that's a gorgeous palette. And that one, I mean, I got it with Ulta points, I think, but that one is beautiful. So I am also going to use the, oops, this um, bronzer, bronzer, highlighter right here from the Naked Cherry. It's very, very beautiful, especially if you work it into your skin. It is gorgeous. All right, so this is very, very pretty. So I'm gonna do my mascara and let me show you what I'm using. I don't have a food related primer, so I'm gonna use my Essence. And then I am gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. 
So let me go ahead and do that off camera because that is boring. I also have a lip liner, a uh, lip liner, an eyeliner. I think this look may look really nice with an eyeliner. Let's do that. Okay, so I've done my um, liner and I use the um, Milk Makeup and I normally rather use liquid liner on my top lash, but this eyeliner is awesome. It really, really, really is. It is so creamy and then it has a smudger in the back so that you can and that's what i did i used a little bit of the smudger and now i decided to use i put my primer on and i decided to use a mascara in front of you so you can see that this mascara is okay but you really need to use a primer with it and it's one of those mascaras that it gets better once it's been open for a little while. When you first use it, I didn't like it. And I think this is supposed to be good for your lashes. Because it's made with the uh, sativa or whatever it is. So. But I really don't. This is just a deluxe sample that I got from Sephora. One of those point perks. But, um, oh, I lost an eyelash. But it's not one of my favorite mascaras. It's okay. Let's see, it, it, I mean, it did okay with my lashes. But if you try to use it, or at least me personally, try to use it without a, a primer, it doesn't work that well. And I do have naturally curly lashes, so I really never have to curl my lashes. Okay, that was a mascara telling me to stop talking trash about about it, so it fought back. I haven't done that in a while, right? I mean, really. Normally, that's just part of my routine. And I usually don't use it on my lower lashes but we will today i don't i actually don't remember if this even smudges on my lower lashes i just want to wipe that but i know it's still very wet and it's going to make a mess so i'm going to try to control myself and not touch it for a little bit it did a good job though today All right, we can pretend that's a beauty mark until I take it off. So now for lips. I brought a lipstick and this is one that was on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Yes, and it is called Creme in My Coffee. It's by MAC. And I thought it would be a pretty shade to go with this look. Look at that, that is beautiful. So I brought a couple of little lip liners that have food related names to see which color went better. This one is going to be, I'm not going to use this one. This is going to be too red, too whiny, ah, too whiny. This is by Estee Lauder. That one's out. Um, this one is by Estee Lauder also, and this is called Spice. That one would work. This one is by Lancome and it's called Raisinberry. I love that, that shade. It's a little too pink. And then this one is by Rimmel, oh no, Essence. And it's a little too dark. So we're gonna go with the Spice from Estee Lauder. So let's line the lips. And you know the nice thing about that Milk Makeup, um, the balm that I used when we started, that it doesn't leave, sometimes when you wear a lip balm, it leaves your lips with that heavy film. This one kind of gets absorbed into your lips because I didn't even have to wipe it off. I mean, I can still feel my lips are moisturized, 
but they don't feel heavy they don't feel goopy they feel like i can put product over it this is a very pretty liner but milani has one that i think is called nude there's one that's natural and the other one is nude and they're pretty similar shades to this for $4.99 All right, so now let's put the lip color on. And this is the first time I wear this lipstick. I'm even gonna put it back in the case because I'm gonna do a, um, a home video of the 21 Days of Beauty when I receive all my products. And this is it. Mm-hmm. That is so pretty. Look at that that is a beautiful beautiful shade i really love this i think this is very pretty let me see if i can take off that big glob it's kind of like yeah that is a beautiful look you've got going on there do i have a spoolie okay i'm gonna use the one this is the the uh, brow the brow product that i used for those of you that can read upside down the tattoo studio uh 24 hour maybelline and it does bring a little spoolie with it so let's see if i can knock that off oh it's not coming off come on it's with such a big glob I'm going to have to put a little bit more of my concealer. I really love this lipstick. It's very pretty. This is such a beautiful fall eye look and lip. I really do enjoy it. I really do like the way this came out. Tell me what you guys think, but I really am happy with it. I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this palette. This is so right up my alley. Let me put a little bit of the, uh, which I forgot. In my inner corner, some of the highlighter. I totally forgot about that. Oh, so what do you guys think? I really do like it. I love the way it turned out. Let me scoot you back. I love the way that it turned out. I think it looks very, very pretty. It's definitely something that I would wear for a special occasion. I love all of the gold, all of the shades. Um, let me impress you with my swatching abilities. I don't know how I do this. Okay, so that's the side that you see. So let me swatch on that side. I'll swatch the whole palette for you. Okay, so this is the whole palette swatched. <laughs> we can just create a game of uh, Clara's, Clara's swatching abilities. Hey, I can do a better job putting it on my eyes than I can on my arm. What can I say? but i do really enjoy it i think this is a beautiful palette i think this is one that i'm going to be using over and over and over again uh because i love these colors i love bronzies and golds and oh it's beautiful and the eyeliner is more like a gray than a black i wish i would have known that i would have gotten a black eyeliner but it looks okay but that's the only thing that I would change from this look. I would definitely use a black eyeliner instead of this one. I really thought this one was going to be black, but it's not. It's more like a slate color. 
so anyway guys uh, make sure that you check out Nat's and Beth's uh, video I am going to link them below and also in the little eye up here both of their channels so you can go check them out I can't wait to see what they created and what food item makeup they are using that should be very interesting and I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.